Hey guys, DM Cubing, and today I'm going to show you how to magnetize your Vault 3 power. The factory magnetized power M has a combination of great N35 4x1.5 magnets in the edges and 4x1 magnets in the corner pieces. For my project, I'm going to use great N38 4x1.5 through my entire cube. I'm going to match the polarity of my homemade cube to the factory magnetized cube that I have. That's what I'm doing here. I'm setting my stack of magnets to the polarity of my factory magnetized cube. I'm marking this end of the stick so that I know to remove my magnets from the opposite end when I'm gluing the corner piece magnets. Before we begin magnetizing, let's clean our cubey pieces off while we're disassembling the cube. It's a lot easier to handle a cube that has all the factory lube removed. It makes gluing in magnets a lot easier. To disassemble the vault corner piece, I like to use a rat tail file. It has a tapered end and it fits into this little hole of the retaining disc at the base of the corner piece. It grips it and I can remove it real easily this way. These three little prong ends are very delicate and the best way to remove the base is by pushing them inward. A socket tool works real well. The standard metallic GAN tool works perfectly and we match its hexagonal shape to the three little prongs as shown here. We use a little bit amount of pressure pushing inward and then pushing out on the base and it comes off. You can also use a 5 millimeter socket, it will do the same thing. Press down on the tabs, push on the base and it removes very easily. You can use a plastic razor blade or your fingernails to disassemble the rest of the QB piece. The tabs are delicate so be careful. And I'll place the retaining disc and the bases in a little bowl here and set them to the side. That way they're safe. Here's the factory magnet slot. When we place our magnet in, we want it all the way at the very bottom of it. As you see here, this is a 4x1.5 magnet. And here's my helper magnet. And this is going to be the correct position when we glue in the magnets. There's not much room for clearance in here, and I'll discuss that later. These little tile caps that go on that make the rest of the edge piece don't give us much room. The magnets have to be precisely located. They have to be snugged all the way down. It's very important. I'll discuss this in detail later. And here's a helper magnet. This is a 4x2 magnet. The glue I prefer is Gorilla Brand Impact Tough Formula Super Glue. I've used it a lot and it seems to work really well. When we glue, we'll put a pretty nice size drop on a stick. And then we'll put it into this magnetic slot. I'll remove my magnets from this end of the stick and I'll slide it into position. You see if it's wet enough, if you have enough of glue there, you can move it right into position. It's important to put enough of glue. And then once I've established that it's in the right place, I'll put a second coat of glue and then I'll pinch off a magnet from the stack and that becomes my helper magnet. I'll do that for the remaining 23 corner piece thirds. Now we'll need to make a master corner piece. This we'll use to align and glue in the edge piece magnets. So take a red, white, and blue corner piece third and build up a corner piece out of it. Like I said, we're going to be using this as a guide when we're gluing in our edge piece magnets. So any remaining helper magnets on the corner piece thirds, you can kind of gather and make a stick out of them. You'll notice the Vault Power has a new design on the edge piece. It has these tile caps on top. Now if you're very careful, you could get a knife to start separating them, but be very careful. Don't cut any plastic or you can work your fingernail in between them. Pull directly straight out. These little prongs are very delicate, so be very careful. And you'll notice that there's two different designs, some that have holes and some that have prongs. Each, each edge piece has a pair of these and be careful because these prongs can break very easily. We'll leave the base and the rest of the edge piece. This will help stabilize while we're gluing in magnets. 
This is the position of the edge piece magnet. Now, I cannot stress strongly enough how critical it is at this point that we pay attention to alignment. We press from the back of the edge piece toward the front of the corner piece as much as we can. If we go the other way, our magnet is going to be in the wrong position and the caps won't go on. Trust me, it's extremely crucial at this point to bring the back as far up front as we can get it. We put a drop of glue where the magnet goes. The magnet will fly right into place and then we drop a sealing coat of glue on top of it. Then we'll rotate the edge piece, put another drop of glue, another magnet, and another sealing drop here. And that's it. And you may want to pair out all your edge piece caps like I did here. It just makes reassembly a lot easier because you'll notice some have receptacles, some have the pins. And they're all kind of mixed up. So if you kind of place them to the side like this, it'll make putting it all back together a lot easier when everything's ready. Now we can reassemble all the individual QB pieces. You might want to start with the corner pieces, then move on to the edge pieces. Now if everything is fine with our alignment, the caps will go on just fine like this. But if our magnet is too high, you can either re-glue the magnet or you're going to have to cut a little slice out of this recepting post here. Otherwise, the cap won't go on. But taking just a little slice off of it gives it enough of clearance to clear my magnet and the extra glue that's kind of sticking out there. And I still have some stability in the post here because there's enough of it, enough of it left there that the other part goes into it. If you follow my tutorial closely, I doubt you'll have any polarity issues, but you can always build the cube up without the cord to check. If you have any problems, it'll show up here because everything should attract. I think this project is good for those who want to try a different magnet than what's in the factory magnetized Power M. Uh, it's a bit of a challenge. I wouldn't recommend this, this uh, project for anybody that's new to magnetizing cubes. Uh, it's best if you've done a few cubes in the past because there's some challenges here. The magnets can get off alignment and then you have to start modifying pieces or re-gluing. Uh, the, over, the overall feel of my cube feels a little bit stiff. Uh, I tried it on looser tensions. Uh, I know it needs to be broken in, but my, my gut feeling is, is the springs feel strong in it. I don't know. I need to see what's in the Power M and see if that's an entirely different spring than what's in the just the Power version. I'm feeling something there, just a lot of tension in the cube. Uh, it's still free-flowing. I think the primary plastic really helps with that, but this cube is not as free-flowing as the factory magnetized. So, and it's not the magnets that's doing it. It's the tension of the spring. So I need to break it in and I need to kind of investigate what's going on there. So thanks for watching, guys. If you have any questions, just leave them in the comments below. I appreciate your support. I'll see you guys later. You guys take it easy. Happy cubing. Bye.